Soldatul care poartă cu sine nu doar propriile răni căpătate pe câmpul de luptă, ci și durerea apăsată a pierderii camarazilor săi de arme, a ajuns după o cursă ștafete istovitoare anul trecut, de Ziua Internațională a Păcii, în Parcul Bucureștean numit după primul rege al României, Carol I. Lângă monumentul ostașului necunoscut, copiii unor militari români căzuți la datorie în teatrele de operații au plantat un copac al păcii adus în țara noastră de o ștafetă formată din militari răniți români, slovaci, englezi și ucraineni. Yes, it was late nights, early mornings, working with different nations, going through different countries and weather systems, with a whole passion of a full understanding of know what it was meant for, the tree of peace. The main topic of Arab initiative is the preservation of the memory of war victims, as well as victims of natural disasters. We also try very hard for the ecological message of the trees of peace, because our main tool is a tree that symbolizes grass and clean environment. It is a symbol of the opposite of a country destroyed by war and torn up by bombs and shells. România s-a alăturat acestui proiect internațional în anul 2021, când forțele noastre armate au fost invitate să participe împreună cu forțele armate slovene la plantarea unui stejar, copacul simbol național al țării noastre, în cimitirul eroilor de la Zvole. Ceremonia la care au participat reprezentanții ai autorităților statului român, în special ai celor militare, dar și ai casei regale române, a avut loc tot de ziua păcii, fiind dedicată și împlinirii unui secol de la nașterea regelui Mihai. It is important to know that the Romanian soldiers also contributed significantly to the liberation of Slovak territory, as evidenced by the large number of victims. 10,435 soldiers of the Romanian army are buried in Slovakia. Of these, 10,384 are buried at the Central Military Cemetery of the Romanian Royal Army in Zvolen, where we also planted one of the trees of peace. From 2022, the Slovak Republic finally has an official protocol place, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In the presence of representatives of the state, members of the government and parliament, representatives of the local governments and war veterans, it was unveiled on the Razos Embankment in Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. At the same time, the remains of an unknown soldier, a member of the first Czechoslovak army of the army corps that fought on Duklian battlefield in the Carpathian Duklian operation were buried under the monument. It was with this operation that the liberation of Slovakia from fascist rule began. Permanently burning flame at the underguard of important military monuments proved the efforts of many nations to permanently commemorate the great sacrifice of their own citizens. It is proof that we do not forget that their life plans and dreams were stopped, interrupted by the horrors of war. The tomb of the unknown soldier is a tribute to all soldiers who died in war without a name because they could not be identified. We can say that an unknown soldier represents the nation as a whole. He was one of us. And placing these monuments in visible and important places greatly enhances the significance and sacrifice of human life. In a certain way, it points out the human life has the highest value. I think we are most aware of this right now, when our neighbors are at the war. There are victims of both sides, fathers, brothers and friends. By commemorating historic victims of war, we should strive to ensure that there are no more victims of war. Unfortunately, the opposite is true and humanity is unteachable. Our family also personally touched by the fact that my grand-grandfather Andrei Sobola fell as a soldier of the First World War in an unknown place around the 
1915. His story inspired me as an architect to create the International Initiative Tree of Peace. Chiar dacă a fost inspirat de o poveste de familie, proiectul Copacul Păcii le este dedicat tuturor eroilor, indiferent din ce timp sau spațiu, nație sau cult provin. Ceea ce vrea să transmită creatorul lui este că soldații nu sunt doar expresia unor conflicte militare, ci sunt în realitate semenii noștri. Impresionată de consecvența proiectului dedicat păcii și de respectul profund arătat regelui Mihai și armatei regale române, majestatea sa Margareta l-a învestit pe Marec Sobola cu medalia regală pentru realitate. Ambițiosul mesaj planetar de pace implementat de organizația Servare et Manere a dus până acum la înfrățirea popoarelor din 19 țări, printre care și România. Last year we made a spectacular Tree of Peace expedition around the world with an emphasis on Oceania. We visited Fiji, Australia, New Zealand and French Polynesia and planted all memorial trees in every country. This year we will be very happy if we succeed in planting of Tree of Peace in Africa which will bring our peace initiative on every inhabited continent on the planet.